I'm going to be talking about the 23rd of March 2024. Today um, is the next day. I just decided to go straight to bed when I got home. Uh, so yeah, in Minecraft wise, I'm going to continue with this. But I was thinking as well yesterday, I was thinking, I want obviously an interior in here. I was thinking of completely redesigning these blocks to for, so this side has the interior wall. Instead of having the interior wall to come out thick here. So, a complete redesign of these blocks. But I'm happy with the blocks so far. I quite like it. Uh, this one's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, I'll, I'll do these ones now. These corner ones whilst I talk about my day. So, let's go to bed first. I'm just going to do the corner ones by hand. Because I can't really think of a way to do them automatically without being a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's just, just fuck it, just smash them out now. So, uh, woke up today at, fuck, I can't remember. When I say today, obviously, I mean yesterday. Um, fuck it now. I think I overslept. Uh, oh no, that, that's it, yeah. Obviously I overslept, unfortunately that's a reoccurring theme. Um, this time I literally didn't even hear any alarms, I just woke up and it was late. Uh, which is very frustrating. Um, I think... You know, it's definitely a subconscious thing. I've subconsciously just been okay with missing training because... I very, 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 I mean, I have done, I have done before, but it's extremely, it's much rarer that I'll sleep in for, like, a work thing. If I have work that I need to wake up for, I will always wake up. Um, but training, I just, my body says, oh, it's okay, it's just train, you go to sleep. Which is, I need to try and fix that. Um, I came up with a concept, because I, 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 it's dawned on me now that I've sort of just been living with my impulses more than I would like. I mean, I, I'm still, uh, I, I, st I still have some discipline, you know, I don't just eat shit, and uh, I'm still in good shape, but I still, for my liking, I've been giving into impulses more than I should, so um, I'm going to have something called the full stop week, is what I called it, the reason why it's called the full stop week, is because when I say I'm going to do something, I will do it full stop, that starts with planning, uh, obviously I need to actually plan it, and I was listening to an Andrew Huberman podcast today and he was talking about time blocking, which is kind of something I already do, but I don't really think about it too much. So if I can actually say, look, I'm blocking this time to do this, that's it. In that time, I will do this. So, so for example, in this time, I will make calls for my company. End of story. Don't care. Um, like That's it. Unless the house is on fire, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I like that idea. It's kind of something I'm already doing. Uh, need some scaffolding over here. It's kind of something I'm already doing, but uh, not really thinking about it. But if I think about it more, um, it makes sense. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's a step in the right direction. So I'm going to, tonight, or well actually well, Sunday evening, I'm going to plan out my entire week. Because I, I have some things that I need to be doing and some things I can't afford to forget. And uh, hopefully have a fantastic week. Uh, the guy that, I don't know the name of the guy, but it was like a good, like, almost three hour long podcast with Andrew Huberman and this other uh, dude. Who, uh, he says, yeah, yeah, I mean, I do like, focused, like, hard work, but I can't do it for more than four hours a day. And that was quite refreshing to hear because you usually just hear people saying, "Oh yeah, I work 16 hours a day, full focus. Don't eat. I don't even. I piss my bed. I, I don't even get up to piss. I just piss in the chair." Um, so it's, it's refreshing to hear someone say, "Yeah, yeah, I don't work for more than four and a half hours and produce good work after that. I can't." Uh, that's definitely probably is somewhere in the area that I'm at. Andrew also said that lots of people have been quick to diagnose themselves with ADHD, but. Matter of fact, they've just rewired their brain to uh, constantly switch subjects, um, which obviously, as you might have guessed, is 
a result of all of this TikTok and all that bullshit, like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. So your brain goes, okay, we're doing this subject, switch this subject, which makes a lot of sense for me because oh, that, that is nice. I really like this so far. <laughs> See, I just did it again. No, uh, it makes a lot of sense because um, I'll be doing like work. I'll be I'll be looking on Google Earth, which is a part of my job, and then um, boom, and then I'll switch I'll switch to something work related, maybe like or money related, like crypto, and but I, I'll still feel productive. But at the end of the day, I've I've still got nothing completed because I've just switched from task to task. So if I can focus on that um, and stay on one task. And of course, I've already deleted Instagram, cut Instagram down. And he said, uh, if you, you can just rewire your brain as simple as, I mean, most people, I mean, I see it, I can see it, most people like, like okay, bored phone, waiting in a line at the shops, phone, waiting in traffic, phone. That's a really bad one for people to do that. You need to sort yourself out. Um, but like, if you just go on your phone, some of the, like, you don't have to completely stop, although I think I would try to completely stop, but. You don't even have to. If you just do it part of the time, then your brain will be like, it won't be an automatic response anymore because every time you're bored, you reach for your phone. If you only reach for your phone some of the times, then it, it kind of it changes that wiring. Um, so that was a very interesting listen to. Um, I'm going to re probably re-listen to it and take notes because uh, there's some points in there that I probably missed that will be extremely useful to me if I fully absorbed. Um, and yeah, I didn't really listen to any music today. Um, as I said, I think music's becoming a bit of an issue uh, because I have basically zero time with my own thoughts. Even when I'm sleeping, I fall asleep listening to a podcast. When I'm brushing my teeth, music. When I'm driving, music. Train, music. Everything, everything, music. The only time I don't have music in is when I'm in the shower. When I'm working, there's music. It probably cuts down my, my uh, uh, productivity massively. I also listen to the podcast that it's extremely difficult to work. Uh, studies just say that much more productivity is with, with music, or at least music without any words. Um, one guy apparently trained himself to work with music with words, but it took him a long, long time. Not really worth it. I uh, just work on my stuff instead of working to work with music with words. It's just pointless. But uh, Yeah, so, I mean, it's... I always worry, when I have days like this, I worry that it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to change, I'm going to do this and that. It's like, and then you maybe you have a few good days and you just go back to normal. But I think this music idea is a new idea. Um, I kind of just never realised. I'm pretty sure it's a problem now. So uh, I haven't, yeah, haven't missed the music. I just listened to this podcast on the car. Obviously that was much more valuable already. It's put new ideas in my head already the first day I've fucking done it. For the last few months, I've just been listening to music in the car, which isn't very beneficial. Um, but yeah, so I uh, got to work at like 3 o'clock-ish. I think before I got to work, I played a little bit of Hell Divers, did a little bit of Crypto, but didn't make any buys or anything. Just looked into it. And um, yeah, uh, work was fine. Started at 3 it was a pretty chill day, uh, sort of busy, sort of not. Uh, obviously, the girl of my dreams was there, and we had a lovely day together as well today. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I'm sad for the dude in the kitchen who also really liked her, but at the same time, it's just the better man wins, I suppose. But he's really sad about it. He's not really talking to her anymore. He doesn't say hi to her anymore or anything. When she, whenever she's in the kitchen, he sort of just looks down and doesn't do anything. When he used to like be all jumpy and singy and stuff, he doesn't do that anymore. But he's actually still alright with me. He knows that I'm now talking to her and going out with her. And he knows that I'm going travelling with her. But he's still chill with me. So I suppose there is mutual respect on both sides. Uh, I was like folding napkins outside. We have a smoking area that I go and fold the napkins at. And he comes out for a cigarette. And I'm like, oh, is this guy going to be weird? And he was actually hella chill. He asked me if I was excited for travelling, so I'm like, oh, he knows. I'm like, yeah, I am, man. And then he's like, yeah, when I get really upset, I just punch things. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, could I copy this and paste it? I could. Is it worth it? Nah, let's just continue doing it by hand. It's probably, I know it's not the most effective way. Oh, wait, could I just destroy this and get it all back? I could. 
Alright, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. It's just going to take way too long. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I, do, I barely got any of that stuff. It all got deleted. Shit. Shit. That's really irritating. Alright, let's build whatever we can here. Oh, my God. I should not have done that. Alright, where's my paper, pen? Turn this around. Right, so that's the bottom one. We want to change it, mirror it, I guess. Mirror over X. That looks like it would work. I swear that would work. So, of course, we don't have the right stuff. So, we need probably shitloads of bricks, because this is a corner one. The rest of this is bricks. Sandstone. I think we don't have enough sandstone. All right, we need more sacks. Oh my god, this is a pain in the ass. Yes. Wait. Okay. Oh, shit. Should have done it by hand. Fuck's sake. When you mirror, it mirrors... Fuck! I made a mistake, man. That's gonna take so long to fix. All right, I'm gonna worry about that another episode. Uh, that's annoying. When you mirror, it uh, mirrors exactly the block, so it just mirrors the pixels that you put the bits onto. So now the bricks don't line up with where the cement is. I don't think that's too difficult to fix, it isn't. So it's four along. If I just replace that. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. Yeah, I overreacted. And here it's three along. So we just mirrored it over X. Will it be as simple as doing that with this? I'll guess not because nothing's simple on this fucking mod. We'll see. Where did it go? Ah, oh, fuck you. Mirror over X. Oh, no way. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I can't be able to do the rest, so I'm just going to talk about the day. Um, so yeah, the day, day, day at the restaurant was pretty fine. Uh, it did start to drag a little bit, and I had, I had some other runners helping me with the cutlery and stuff, so it was pretty chill. Um, there was no lunch though, which was gay. That was so gay. There was no lunch. Somebody said there was going to be a curry, and I got really excited, but then that was a lie. Um, I ended up buying a burger. As, as a fucking employee, I bought a burger because they weren't going to feed us. Um, and it, they, they gave me a good discount. It was like £10, and the burger was really good. So I wasn't that mad, but the girl sold me, the girl. When I say the girl, I mean my future wife, guys. The girl told me that uh, it's probably a plan of theirs that they're not going to feed us, so we buy from them. I'm like, that's 
very clever and that makes me not want to buy. But I'm so hungry. I got the burger, ten pounds. It was a really good burger, so I'm actually not mad for that. For that, but I will bring food in in the future because she's probably right there. Um, yeah, yeah. I get this corner one. I guess I'll just do all the corners. Oh no, 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 no. Mirror over X, boom. So yeah, folded napkins, did some cutlery. It's a pretty chill day. Uh, one of the waitresses fucked up on an order as well. So yeah, there was another like I got a quarter of a burger, which is fucking lovely. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking all right day, man. Uh, did some cutlery as well with the girl of my dreams at the end when everybody else left. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think the feelings are mutual, guys. Where I'm going crazy, I don't know. I also had a, a long chat with the dude that polishes the glasses. I don't usually talk to him that much, but I had a good chat with him. It turns out he's like big into horses and stuff. And he tells me like the margins between buying and selling horses, but there's so much in between that there's big cost and lots of skills that you need that I don't have. But it was interesting to hear about how much he could make with all that shit. I oh, can't, I might as well do this now. Um. Yeah, it was quite an interesting conversation. I probably won't go into it, but I do like hearing about that stuff. He said there's just so many rich families now in it that they just take all the profit out of it or make it extremely hard to do yourself, which is kind of just like a monopoly. But yeah, um, overall pretty good day. Unfortunately, at the end, there was no talking afterwards, and me and this girl were like, oh, no talking, that's, that's strange. And I just said bye to her. She got in her car. Uh, on the way back, listen to more of the talk show, and um, yeah, I felt alright. I, I started to feel a little bit ill on the way home. There was actually a driver in front of me in a lovely Range Rover, and he was obeying the speed limit, and for once I wasn't mad. I was like, you know what, I'm going to drive chill today. And I had quite a nice drive. Um, just wondering, if I copy this and mirror it over X, will it work? No way, that's awesome. Right, I just need more stone than smooth stone. Where's my other bag? Here it is. I've got loads of... Oh, I just need stone then. But yeah, um... Overall, pretty great day. Can't really complain at all. Um, got home and yeah, decided just to go straight to bed. I did have some some uh, uh, was it fucking weetos? That's what it's called. I had some weetos uh, and got into bed. Had a really really dry throat, and I thought, oh, I hope this is because usually I get like a dry throat uh, a day before I'm sick. So I'm like, I hope I'm not sick tomorrow. But luckily, woke up today. I mean, I've got a little bit of a blocked nose, but I'm fine. I did have um, a bit of, like, I woke up at like 6.30 and I needed water because my throat was so dry again. And I felt so awake at 6.30. And I was like, I might stay up. But I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to go back to sleep. I did want to go training today, but I'm pretty sure there was a seminar on. Um, so I'm not going to go to that. Fucking hell, I hate, I don't really like seminars. I don't usually pick up techniques the first time round anyway, and seminars are double expensive, and I feel like there's the move of the day in a seminar is always a move that requires lots of space, and they've sold so many fucking tickets, there's no room. I hate seminars, I, I haven't gone to a seminar in so long. Um, but yeah, okay, I should do the rest of this, I'm going to do these tomorrow. Get these corners, it's just doing the corners all over again, almost. <laughs> I'm going to do this one by hand because I'm pretty sure this is a unique corner. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty decent day. And yeah, I went to bed pretty much straight away. Fell asleep very quickly, put my eardrops in. My ear popped in the car as well. Um, 
when I was driving my ear popped and it went it went deaf again but for a moment I could hear what it was like to have normal hearing which is pretty awesome <laughs> I've forgotten what it's like but yeah I have so much work so I've just gotten used to it I've had it all my life so time to deal with that properly but yeah pretty cool day um, and yeah uh, that's it guys got a pretty busy day today and I'll talk about it tonight <laughs>